everyone we are here at animal kingdom i'm so excited it has been since march since i've been here i absolutely love this park i was gonna try to buy some rides but wait times are a little long but i'm thinking it's gonna die down here yes there's a hurricane coming um today is september 24th tuesday the hurricane is supposed to start coming in tomorrow and thursday I actually live in Southeast Florida, so we should be good. We'll probably get the outer banks, outer feeder parts of the hurricane. My daughter and her fiance do live in Fort Myers, so um, they will probably end up evacuating coming over by us. But anyway, let's enjoy our day. to get one of these seasonal coffees as we leave. It is a Savannah Banana Latte. Now, if the lines are ever too busy, we can actually go through the Rainforest Cafe and there is a uh, scan your ticket in Rainforest. In case you didn't know. He's over here. Let's go take a look. O resto ela pode. É, que isso, né? Ele está aqui na rua. Eu não sei se você pode ver. Ele está I don't know, no, you really can't see him, but he's in that den right there. This is so cute. This is new, this little jacket, this is cute. There's like, it's got some packets here, it just taps it. Some of the cocoa stuff. I haven't seen this. This is cute. I feel like this one looks smaller, but maybe not. Cocoa ears. Drinkware set. That's cute. Posters. And a blanket here. I really like this. Oh, it's all square.
nice and close. There's a ton of space right here in front of us. Feel free to fill all of this in. These are all some of the best bets to if you want birds just like that flying right over the top of your head. Now my name's Keegan and I'm joined by an awesome team of avian trainers and conservationists. We have Amanda on the far end over there. We have Taylor. And now in the crowd with y'all, that's Reagan and Angel. And we have the incredibly noisy stars of our show that are hanging out right over there in front of Taylor. This is Penny and Leonard. Both of these birds are green wing macaws. And they're just trying to guess from about a half mile away. Now we train these birds using positive reinforcement so they know that if they make the half mile play out here to hang out with us or land on the perches that our trainers are holding out there, that they're going to be getting some of their favorite treats. They really like snacking on peanuts, banana chips, almonds, hazelnuts. And by us giving them their favorite treats, that's our way of saying thank you. And hopes that they do that behavior again and again in the future. It's super simple, but that's how positive reinforcement training works. Now, as beautiful as these two birds are, we love working with them every single day, but none of us go home to a macaw in the household. They can make extremely challenging pets to have. That scream right there is going to be the number one complaint for anybody who brings a macaw into the four walls of your home. But they're also extremely destructive. You can see how they're just taking shreds of uh, wood right off of those two planks that Taylor's holding over there. Think of that as your dining room table. They're going to be doing the exact same thing. If you choose to bring a macaw into the four walls of your home, let me tell you, friends, anything is fair game to become a macaw chew toy. They're also extremely messy. They're professionals at pooping, and they can live decades on end, really Sorry, making them a lifelong no, 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 just moving So it's hand. so great that you can go to places like Disney's Animal Kingdom to get your parrot fix, but maybe keep your home's parrot free. Now I mentioned earlier that Penny and Leonard are both green wing macaws. This is just one of eight different species that we get the opportunity to work with every single day. But one species in particular that we're really privileged to work with, they're called the blue-throated macaw. They're one of the rarest species of macaws left out in the wild today. And in the country of Bolivia, where they're native to, there are fewer than 400 of these blue-throated macaws left. And that's due to things like deforestation, which is leading to their habitat loss, and even the illegal pet trade is a problem for these birds. But it's not all bad news. We partnered with an organization. They're called the World Parrot Trust. Their goal is to breed these blue-throated macaws in hopes that we can release them out to meet up with that smaller wild population to boost up their numbers. Because how amazing would it be to get to see skies filled with macaws? Is that something y'all would like to see? All you have to do is take a look to the sky. Let's go over to Africa and see if we can get on the safari. We're going to count how many steps I take today, too. shark and catfish in here. Sometimes I see them and sometimes I don't. Maybe on this side. I do not see him. You come back here though, there's usually a character meet and greet right here. fun spot to take pictures too. It's usually not crowded.
cool. Look at the sun. make our way over to Pandora. My Disney experience, and I'll tell you your best friend on there once you get it on. Lion King show here. Very fun, very cute. We start lining up, I think a half hour before they open the doors. It's worth it, I think. Very popular. Here's the line to get in if you don't have lightning. And it's good you're going on a water ride. I love when you walk into the and you can already hear the music and the sound. Disney just does such a great job with all of the details.
Let's go see how long Navi's ever will be. Navari River is standing at 65 minutes. A lot of people don't like it, but I really like this ride. River is 65 minutes and flight of passage is 40. All right, let's get something to eat. Here, and I'm going to show you where you can go to get something healthy at uh, Animal Kingdom. So it was $20 for this uh, chicken bowl with the water. It has sweet potato, hash, chicken, and some vegetables. Okay, let's do a bite. Tigers ahead of us. So this um, is a little quieter than the other one over by the safari. The last time I came in here, a bird pooped on me, so just be careful. Which is fine, because you know, they're flying around, living their best life. I wonder if the um, peacocks are floating around. 
now. I think the male is Alfred and the female, I just went blank what their name is. Oh, look at how pretty the fur is. Oh, there's one of the pink packs. Oh. And I had to... How are you, pretty boy? stuff. It's cute. I like these. I haven't seen these. Very cute. And here's all the stitch stuff. And Halloween. Haunted Mansion stuff. Oh, how cute. This is a diffuser. This is cute. I think this is a water bottle. 
and we were so lucky here is divine I wonder how many people Thank you for joining me. Hopefully I got some footage. It's so humid and so, um, it was so busy. I don't think I've seen Animal Kingdom this busy in forever. I wasn't able to get on any rides, but I still had a really good time. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.